Here in the Stark Center, we have the dumbbell that Louis Sear used to lift 273 and a half pounds from the floor to his shoulders using two hands and then letting go with one hand and lifting that dumbbell 273 and a half pounds over his head and controlling it. Sear did that much and we have the exact dumbbell he used, not one that looks like it. We have the actual dumbbell and we're very proud to have that. My name is Ian McLean, and I am in charge of product development at Rogue Fitness. This year for the 2014 Arnold Strongman Classic, Rogue Fitness was tasked to build two pieces of equipment, a bale tote yoke and Louis Sear bell. I saw a picture of this Sear bell and a picture of Louis Sear from 1800s and thought, okay, cannonballs. We knew that we wanted to do it justice and try and build as close of a replica as we could. We broke it down into pieces and I talked to some of my guys and we figured out a way to machine it uh, actually out of hemispheres and then put it together. They start out as four cylinders of steel and we take that cylinder and we pocket out the face of that cylinder and a lathe. So what we did is we built uh, four of those for each belt. Then what we did is we passed a solid handle through all those pieces. The, the core project was pretty simple. Weld hemispheres together to make two balls, put a handle. It was just a pretty massive thing to do. We had to do our best to keep the overall dimensions the same, but still produce something safe and get the correct weight for Terry. So the yoke, I didn't know what we were going to build. When Terry finally surfaced with his idea to load this yoke, he presented us with uh, cotton bales. You know, your first reaction is cotton. That's not heavy, that's cotton. But as we worked with it, we figured out that these things are going to be four to 500 pounds each. These bales of cotton were done for us for this event at the oldest working cotton gin in the United States in Austin, Texas. These were massive bales of cotton. But the yoke itself was fairly simple. We had to build some cradles, just some arms that, that supported these bales. In typical rogue fashion, we just kept throwing steel at it and made it as stiff as we could. And total, this yoke, when you combine these bales of cotton and the yoke itself, I mean, we're pushing 1,400 pounds. But it's my job as the guy who creates the events at the Arnold Strongman Classic to come up with ways to test these guys, not just testing strength, but doing it in a way that's interesting and exciting. We don't lift regular barbells or regular dumbbells. We make them bigger, scarier, uh, more awesome looking. And I want to really make them reach for it. We want to see the strongest man. We don't care who it is as long as it's the strongest man. 